Hey everyone, my name is Siddharth and I'm a medical intern here in India. Currently, I've given my USMLE Step 1 and I've passed it. And in the previous videos, I talked about the ideal uh, timeline to give the USMLE Step 1. And I also talked about my USMLE Step 1 journey. You can check it out in my uh, channel. And so let's begin with this video. Uh, here, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the USMLE Step 1 resources and which are the must-do resources. And there are a few extra resources which you could use if you have the time to do it. But uh, doing the must-do resources is definitely the best thing to do and give your exam as soon as you can. And so the must-do resources are uh, UWorld, Pathoma, Videos Plus Notes, Sketchy, Pharmac and Microbiology. Uh, both and beyond the video lecture series and also the first aid. Okay, so first let's talk about UWorld, which is the gold standard resource for the USMLE Step 1. It has around 3,700 questions and they keep adding questions almost every day. The main thing about this resource is that the explanations are the best explanations that I've ever seen anywhere. They also have some uh, video explanations for some topics which are still uh, stuck in my brain and a lot of questions have been asked on those explanations as well. The most important thing is to start early on with this uh, resource and learn from the questions instead of using it as a testing tool to test your knowledge. The thing that I'm trying to say is that you should use UWorld as a learning tool rather than a testing tool since it is the best learning tool that is available for the USMLE Step 1 exam. I only got around 50% correct questions in my first pass of the U world, but I learned all of them from the explanations and focused more on the wrong ones and went through all of the options with their explanations. The next resource is the Pathoma video lecture series and notes. Most of the people recommend only doing the chapters 1, 2 and 3, which are definitely the most important ones, but I also recommend doing uh, all of the topics from Pathoma. I can confidently say that a lot of questions were asked from Pathoma, definitely from the first, second and third chapter, but also from the other chapters. And it's definitely a must do resource. Since pathology is around 45 to 55% of the USMLE step one exam, this is the best resource to concise all of the high yield points. The lecturer, Dr. Sattar, says which points are high yield and uh, which po points are a must know fact and i used to use my pink pen to mark those facts put a star around them, them or uh, underline them and this is definitely a must do resource and it helped me a lot during my uh, final days of the preparation for the usmle step one exam the next resource is uh, the sketchy pharmacology and microbiology I don't think there is any other resource that I would use to study uh, microbiology and pharmacology. Uh, Sketchy essentially takes a bacteria or a drug and makes it into a meaningful sketch, which is uh, much easier to remember. And they have all different types of mnemonics from the sketch. Uh, it helped me uh, a lot during the exam and also helped me uh, sustain my memory till the exam. I am sure I remember a lot of things even till date and I would say that this is definitely a must do resource since it talks about all of the biochemistry and physiology which are the tie-ins for cer certain subjects in microbio and uh, pharmac. What you should do is uh, take printouts of the sketches and keep your notes ready and they are just pure gold. That's all I can say. The next resource is the Boards and Beyonds video lecture series and this is another video lecture series which covers uh, anatomy, embryology, physiology, pathology, some treatments, uh, biostatistics, uh, biochemistry, immunology, behavioral science. What I'd recommend is using this along with the first aid and annotating the necessary things or the missing things on the first aid. And also it's okay to skip the pathology section from Boards and Beyonds since uh, you will be doing Pathoma or you can just watch the whole pathology section on Boards and Beyonds on 2x. 
The next resource is the first aid book for the USMD step one. I think this is the most uh, common and the most famous resource that everyone uses for the USMD step one. And it's a very concise compilation of all the important topics from the first, second and the third year. And it's a great book for revision, but there are definitely a lot of super important things which are missing on this book, which you can add from uh, the Both and Beyond's video lecture series and also UWorld. You can make the uh, first aid and the Both and Beyond video lecture series combination as the base for your USMLE step one preparation. And so in short, what I'm trying to say is that uh, you should do Pathoma for pathology do sketchy micro and pharmacology for uh, microbiology and pharmacology and for all of the other topics you can do it from boards and beyond along with the first aid and you can annotate biochemistry immunology behavioral science psychiatry and all the physiology of different sections and there are some extra resources which you could use uh, i personally did not use any of these resources but I've seen that a lot of people recommend using these resources like the UWorld Biostats review and the AMBOSS for the USMLE Step 1. I think AMBOSS also has a library for the USMLE Step 1 if I'm not wrong and it has all the high yield points. You can check them out if you think you should use something extra. And the last thing that I want to say is that uh, keep your resources as less as possible. The these five resources are definitely the best way to go about it and give your USMLE step one and pass it easily. Do not overcomplicate your uh, prep with adding multiple resources here and there and not finishing all of them and just being all over the place. That's it for this video. I hope you guys know which resources to use now and how to use them and subscribe for more USMLE step one videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.